Hi, my name is Lukas Soschitzka, and I have the honor of presenting you the new live arrangement features on the show page in Studio One 5.2. When we released the show page in Studio One 5, we were very curious to hear which features you like to see on the show page. And the number one feature request was to have sections in your songs that can recall different patches and that you can flexibly switch between during the show. And this is now possible in Studio One 5.2. Let's check it out. The Arranger track is now available on the show page as well, allowing us to define sections and place patch changes within a setlist item. I only need to create patches for each sound or preset I want to play in my song, and then I can assign these patches to Arranger sections. Or I just drag my presets directly to sections, and these are now immediately ready to play. Another very cool addition is that we now have the chord track on the show page. So you'll never forget your chords in your five hour shows again. Creating sections and chords for your shows is extremely easy. If you have already created songs on the song page, you can directly send them over to the show page, including all the arranger sections and chords. But you can also add songs, sections and chords directly on the show page. Just double click or hold Ctrl or Command on Mac to draw new song sections. And if your song doesn't have a fixed tempo and is not perfectly on the grid, you can press Tab to jump to the next transient, so you can easily align your sections to the beats in your song. If you often play shows with backing tracks, you certainly know the challenge. Even though you are playing with a backing track, you still want to be able to stay flexible. Maybe you want to have an intro loop, talk to the audience, and when you're ready to continue, you want to cue into the next part. Or you are in the last chorus of your song and the band is really on fire and you decide to repeat it one more time. That's now possible in the show page. For each arranger section, we can choose between five playback modes. Continue, stop at end, loop, loop and continue, and skip. Loop and Continue allows us to repeat a section for any number of times before playback continues with the next section. Of course, we can also queue sections manually. This works by double-clicking one section or with a keyboard shortcut. If you don't want to jump to that section immediately when you queue it, you can use the new Sync mode to have a more musical transition. You decide if you want to switch after one bar, two bars, four bars, or at the end of the section. Once we're done with creating our show, it's time to perform. The new performance view now shows our arranger track and the chord track at the top, and we can drag to zoom and adjust the view to our liking. In the main area, we have big pads for our patches, microcontrols, and sections. When you start playback and don't do anything, it just keeps playing depending on the play mode of each section. And the icon shows you exactly if the section is set to loop, continue, stop at end, or how often it repeats. When you click one of the pads, this section is queued, so it will play next. Or if you don't want to wait because you're just rehearsing and want to seek to another part, double-click the section to start it immediately, ignoring the sync mode. I can already hear you say, no one wants to look at a computer screen while playing. That's true. And that's why we included the whole performance view in the new Studio One Remote app, so you can control your instrument and effect patches from the keyboard. And you see all your sections in one place, and you can queue them whenever you want. Let me show an example. And what's really, really awesome about this is that you can loop any section spontaneously. 
So if I'm playing a short solo at the show and it's really fun, and playing a solo is pretty fun most of the time, then I can just tap this button right here to set this section to loop. And when I'm done with my solo, usually hours later, I can tap the button again to set it to continue or cue another section. 